So hey guys, welcome to another figure review video and this time we have Kotobukiya's Art of XJ from My Hero Academia, Shoto Todoroki. So of course starting with the box, again just your ordinary windowed box. In terms of design, they're continuing that comic book slash manga aesthetic theme. Half tone patterns and callouts everywhere. Big cut out here so you can check your figure inside. Always check the face for defects. Speaking of the inside, you can see some text patterns going on there. Left side, couple more cutouts and a big chunk of text at the bottom about the artifacts J line. Back side, big portrait of the figure as well as a whole body shot. Right side, just more photos of the figure. And at the top, one more big cutout and a few more details and nothing more. So here's the Rocky out of the box and right out of the bat can I just say I absolutely love this figure. It's the best Todoroki figure right now end of video. Kidding aside in my opinion this is one of the best Todoroki figure out there not this not that who the hell is that but this one. This one. Well okay those figures are from band presto and they don't cost as much as this one but there are no other Todoroki figure inside this price range so nothing really to compare it to. And due to the pose I believe this figure only has two good angles. Of course the front is a given since that's what I believe the sculpt is based on. This angle not as much, left profile not as much, backside doesn't count, why would you display him facing at the back. Right profile, actually not bad, but this angle. This right side 3 quarters angle, I believe is the best angle to display him. I mean look at him, he's so cool. And you can even see some of the flame here, and some of the eyes there, so this for me is the best angle of the figure. Taking a closer look at his shiny snow boots, with little spikes on the soles, so he will have traction while maneuvering on his own ice. The base is similar to Jeku and as well as the whole line, you got that rocky surface going on. Of course again the base is removable but I don't know why would you display him without it. Going to the waist you can see his utility belt with little metal capsules hanging there and just look at the other capsule. Look how it hangs upwards on his leg, attention to detail. The metal capsules contains water, pain medication, and disinfectants. Basically this belt is a first aid kit, and how did I know that? I googled it of course. Going to his reverse combat vest, which is said to be capable of sensing Todoroki's body temperature, and automatically heats up or cools down depending on what he needs. Taking a closer look at the flame on his left arm, sculpt looks great but I do wish they used some sort of translucent material here. I don't know maybe it's just me but I'm a fan of those semi translucent pieces they do on figures. The flame comes separate out of the box, it has a little instruction sheet on how to attach it. The flame splits into two just like that. Then note that the flame does not attach on the arm but rather down here on the wrist. It has a perfect negative mold of the part of the wrist and that's also the way to know if you're attaching it right when you can just leave the piece hanging like that. And then you attach the second piece and there you have it. And finally that face, that beautiful face, Korobuki again 100% nailed the likeness. Just look at those eyes, the separation of the color of his hair to represent his fire and ice quirk. Really, just flawless. For the bonus faceplate again, it comes in this little blister clamshell packaging. Comes with a little instruction sheet on how to swap the faces. This time, the whole head does not pop off, so to swap the faceplate, you pop off the hair with absolutely no force required. Then you pop off the face, then pop in the new one, then pop back the hair. Now you have a normal piss to the Roki on the left side, then a slightly more piss to the Roki on the right side. 
So Todoroki stands or crouches at 165mm or about 6 inches at 1.8 scale. Here's Korobukiya's Deku. Here's a 1.8 scale Sailor Mass from Mega House. And here's a 144 scale Zaku, which is about the size of your average 112 scale figure. I really need to get a 112 scale figure for scale. Here's another crouching figure from Korobukiya. We can leave Pikachu over here. And here's another 1-8 standing figure from Korobukiya. And let's leave that big over here. So there you have it! Another great figure from Korobukiya. And in my opinion, the best Todoroki figure available right now. Again, I did not encounter any issues on this one. No paint defects or smears. So far, pretty flawless from Korobukiya. So we're giving Todoroki 4 stacks out of 5. Hey, if you like this video, please give us a like. If not, then give us a dislike. But do tell us why so we can improve. And if you want to see more figure review videos like this, please hit that subscribe button as it will help a lot. So that's about it. See you in the next video. Bye!